Hello my friends, today we will work on Luminar Neo and we'll edit this chickadee photo, we'll, we'll take it from this into something similar to this. Again, this will be the photo we will start with and then we'll end up with something like this. So how do we create this edit? Well, first of all, let's look here. As you can see, I shot this image at ISO 1600 and if I zoom in at 200%, you will see it has a lot of noise. So before I even send it to Luminar Neo, I do want to take it into Topaz Denoise to remove the noise in this image. So into develop mode, I'll go to photo, edit in, and Topaz Denoise AI. I'll edit it as a copy. And here I will just take the default settings. They seems to work really well. This is our before, this is the after, before and after. Let me zoom in maybe at 200% so you can see how well it did. And I'm looking here in the background. This is our before, this is the after, before and after. And uh, I will just apply the changes. Now that our uh, image is noise free, we have to crop it before we send it into Neo. So I will just crop it a little bit tighter, something like that should work for this image. Maybe not that tight. There you go. That looks good. I will accept the changes and then we'll go to photo, edit in Luminar Neo. And now in Luminar Neo, we want to go to edit and we'll start with a few basic adjustments to the develop tool. I want to open up the shadows just a little bit, not too much. And then I also want to go to color and it's a little bit too blue. I want to move the temperature just a tiny little bit warmer, maybe plus one. I don't want to make it too yellow. And that looks all right to me. I will close the develop and now every time I work with wildlife, I do want to make sure that their eye really stands out. And I need especially the catch light. I want to make sure that catch light really stands out to make the bird more alive. So for that, I will zoom in at 100%, just like that. And then I will increase the exposure, maybe click J on the keyboard, make sure I'm not clipping anything. And you see I'm clipping these feathers, but that's okay because I'm not working with those feathers right now. I only want to work with the catch light and something like that looks good. And then I will take the masking and a brush and I'm only going to brush this on the eye where there's highlights, something like that, and then the catch light. And there you go. Now I can click J again to hide my clipping and I will go zoom in to fit. So now let's look, this is before and this is after our adjustment. Do you see how the eye just, you know, stands out and it looks more lively? This is the before, this is the after. Now, when I took this photo, it was raining. So we have these uh, rain streaks and um, I think that they're kind of distracting. So I am going to erase those. I'll go into the eraser tool and I'm just going to paint over them. If there was a lot of them, I would have left them. But since there are only two in here, I'm just going to erase them and get rid of them. Great. Now I want to go into enhance, maybe add a little bit of accent and that looks good to me next i want to go into color and work a little bit with the background i feel like it's maybe a little bit too warm i want to cool it down a little bit so into the hsl i will go into hue of the green and just move it towards cyan and now because i changed the hue of it it's super saturated so i have to go into saturation and take down the saturation and that looks better to me. Let's see, this is the before, this is the after. I like that better, before and after. Now, we do have these uh, yellow tones under, uh, on the bottom of the image. I want to add some more of that yellow tones here on the right side. And I will do that by adding a leak, light leak. And I will use this one over here. Just double click on it and it will apply it as a layer. And now this is in the wrong place. I want it to be on the right side. So I will flip it with this button over here. Great. Now it makes my bird looking all hazy and I don't want it on the left side of the image. 
So I will use masking and I'll just use a linear gradient and I will drag something like that. Go back to properties and it's still some on the head of the bird. So I will go to masking and I will take a brush this time and erase just from the head of the bird. There you go. And this looks good. Let's see. If I hide it, it was like that. If I show it, it's like that. It's too strong. So let's go back to layer properties and reduce the opacity. This is zero. I'll do maybe just about 45, just to add a little bit of interest on that side. Now, I do like a plain background, but I feel like maybe this background is a little bit too plain. So I also want to add an overlay and let's see. I did have something here that had leaves. My Neo is acting up. You see, it's not loading. There you go. It's just going very, very slowly. And let's see, which one did I use? And this is the overlay I wanted to use. Double click on it and it would load as a layer. Now you see this leaf is coming over my bird. So I do want to stretch this background and move it around just so I make sure it doesn't hit the bird. Maybe something like that. And then I will change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Now that looks great, but I do not want it to affect my bird. So I will go to masking, take a brush, make sure it's on, on erase and I will remove it from my bird. Now you should probably take your time and make sure you make a good selection. I will just kind of go roughly over it and it's going to look good enough for me. Maybe remove it a little bit from this branch and there you go that looks good i'm happy with that let's see our image that we brought into neo this is before we brought it into neo and this is after before and after um, i'm going to apply it and if you are new to my channel and you need help to learn how to use Luminar Neo, just know that I do have a playlist. It has about a hundred or more tutorials on Luminar Neo where I went through every single tool on Neo and how to use it, lots of examples and many other tutorials or just photos editing. So just go and watch that and that should get you up to speed with editing like a pro on Luminar Neo. And now this is our image back into Lightroom where we started the whole journey. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.